All right, I gotta get to it. Um, Sanisa Estrada, sorry to bring her up, but I feel like the more and more we talk about this potential fight, the more intriguing it gets. Now, there's many ways that this potential fight can go. Um, yeah, there's only a few ways. There's, there's a few ways, right? So, I'll break it down. Sanisa could potentially use her quickness throwing pot shots and quick combinations while avoid staying in the pocket against you, or you can impose your strength on her by closing the distance and walking her down with power shots and strong hooks to the body. Those are the two most likely narratives of the fight, in my opinion. Am I wrong for thinking that? Yeah, no, no, I would say that those would, that is exactly one or the other, considering our styles. You know, um, if you, but that's what, that's what she does, and that's what she likes to do, uh, as far as pop shotting and moving, and then I like to be aggressive, and, I, and I, I like to keep it busy, you know, that's just me. That's how I've always been my whole life. So, I would say that those are the two ways that you could choose, but the, th the thing about that is that because I've been boxing this way my whole life, she's not the first person that's tried to pop shot me and move and she's not the best person that's tried to pop shot me and move so unless she can come up with another plan like she's screwed she's completely screwed and that's what people don't understand like i get it she looks nice and i'm not like i've said this a million times um and i know she likes to talk a lot of shit but she doesn't speak about my actual boxing you know she talks about my weight or i don't know my brother who passed away she talks, her, they talk about crazy stuff that's Nothing to do with the actual sport. But when it comes to the sport, I've said this. She's a good fighter, but she's not better than me. Like, I've been in the ring with girls like her, and she just, she needs space. You know, she, she, she likes, she, you can't get in her bubble. She needs time to think. She needs time to set up. She likes to be flashy. She needs to be on her rhythm. And that's exactly what I take away from people in every single thing I do. I can move, too. I can, with the things that she does, I can do that, too. I can pop shot, too. I, you just saw. I can move. I can, I can be quick if I want to you know but I can also be aggressive and for the majority of my life that's what I've done so I've actually perfected on how to get in how to say bye my job how to make people uncomfortable and if I honestly like she's her type of fighting is like my bread and butter it's what I grew up doing people would just run from me all my life so I I seriously doubt that she's gonna show me something that I haven't seen. I fought people from all over the world since I was 16 years old. You're talking about Russians, Ukrainians, uh, Ch Chinese, Kazakhstan, you're, you know, uh, Koreans. You're talking about everybody and Koreans and with their footwork. If she thinks that she's the smoothest person I've ever fought, she's out of her damn mind. Everybody wants to see this fight, so it's a good rivalry. Uh, you know, Texas versus Cali. Um, a fight that's brewing and could potentially land as a main or even a co-main on a huge card on the zone. Yeah, no, I think it's going to land on it. I think it's going to be nice, you know, and I love it. I think um, I like that it's her, you know, to be honest with you. Um, I like the idea. I like the setup. I, I like that she's a good-looking girl, you know. I think it's awesome. I think I think I like I, I She is Mexican, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like that she's Mexican or like Hispanic. Um, I love the whole, I love it all, you know, and I think it's great, and I love it even more that people think that she's going to be somebody difficult for me. I was talking uh, to my manager the other day, and I was just, you know, in the boxing mode, and I was driving, I was thinking, and I told him, I was like, man, if they would have told me when I was, you know, 19, 20 years old, that to prove to the world that you're a good fighter, you had to beat Sinisa Estrada, I don't know if I would have trained so hard. You know, like, I was like, man, I've been always seen this forever. If you told me that that was going to be my breakthrough fight, I don't know if I would have worked so hard. So I'm kind of glad that this is the setup and this is kind of what, what God's doing for me and kind of putting in my path, for sure. And that would be your legacy-defining fight, and you feel like you'll be ready to embrace that moment. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm ready. Um, I'm super ready. I was ready before uh, I decided to have Saint, and I'm even more ready now. I really thought that at the beginning, I was like, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to bounce back from this, not uh, physically necessarily, but mentally, because it's a big transition, you know, and it was scary. It was, but I needed that break uh, more than I knew, you know, my, my fights um, up until now have not um, showed uh, what I can actually do because I was wore out and I didn't realize that I've been boxing since I was 11 years old straight all the way up until my pros. So I was wore out and I really wasn't on my P's and Q's the way I should have been. And I think um, God kind of just did that for me. And man, I'm so ready for this. Cool, now a couple more things. Um, 
from what I noticed in sparring, I think you rely heavily on your timing and your volume punching. Talk about some of the things you feel are your strengths as a boxer. Um, my strengths as a boxer have, have always been my timing. Uh, I have really good timing. Um, it's just something that, I don't know, it's, just, it's one of my things, you know? Yeah. And I'm pretty fast. Um, I've been trying to, to slow down a little bit how quickly I throw the punches and throw them a little bit more accurately, so give up a little bit of speed to, to land them a, a bit cleaner. And we've been transitioning on that, so I think that would be good. That's pretty much my, uh, my bread and butter, my timing and my speed. Um, I, I adjust a lot. I make a lot of adjustments. I don't really like to, I don't get hit with the same thing over and over. And that just really came from years of boxing, you know. I, I used to get hit with a jab a lot, you know. Like I used to hate jabs and I used to hate left handers. But as time goes on, you know, you learn. And I would say definitely I, I make adjustments. And then talk about your left hook. You throw a nice sharp left hook. Oh, thanks. Um, we've just been working on that because I, I, I like it a lot. Um, I used to have to stay away from body shots every now and again in the amateurs. But I would use them during sparring. I just couldn't really risk it too much when, when I was uh, in the amateurs. But we started to work on that a little bit more because it's always there for me. I like to lean over on my front foot a lot and kind of when I'm when I'm watching. So it's something that we've been working on to kind of uh, get people out of there a little bit quicker because it's nice and we can finally use it. For sure, yeah. You doubled it up downstairs, upstairs. It looks really good. Last thing, Marlon. Uh, what do you want to show in this fight? And uh, just talk about this upcoming fight, your uh, your return to the ring. Yeah, we're definitely taking everything like one fight at a time and just making sure that we're progressing correctly. So I think what we're really looking for in this fight is just to make sure that my timing and all the small things are there. You know, that I'm not sloppy or rushing things. And if I can't get her out of there, to not like lose my head. Or if I am getting her out of there, not to lose my head. And I think just to make sure that I'm still the complete fighter that I was before. And as soon as we get that taken care of and we know, okay, you fought that fight and you kept your hands up, you, you stayed calm, you made adjustments, you, you stayed composed and you looked sharp, um, I think then we can kind of just breathe a little bit easier and just move on to the next thing. Awesome. Thanks for the time, Marlene. Definitely shout out your social media. Oh, it's uh, Marlene underscore Esparza on Instagram and Marlene Esparza 112. I don't even know my Twitter handle. <laughs> I think, right? Marlene yeah. 112 Boxing. She's kind of famous, people. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Thanks, Marlene. We Thank really you. appreciate it.